Hey guys, I'm Yes Reno, and today we're gonna be talking about a topic that low key kind of sucks, but high key can be fun if you approach it the right way. So today's topic is what to write your college essay about. Now I've been there, done that, and actually after I got into a number of the schools I did, I went back and like meticulously studied why exactly I thought these schools would be so kind as to open their doors to me. Ten out of ten. Uh, now I have some advice to recommend. <gasps> oh God, <laughs> let's get down to business to defeat the puns. No, but, but seriously, let's start so I don't embarrass myself anymore. All right, now the one thing I want you to remember when brainstorming and when writing your essay is the main objective of the essay. You got one job, okay? And that one job is to convince the school that you're applying to to let you in. Now, schools are different, so they want different people to fill those different roles. So you gotta be smart, do your research on your school. But one thing most schools are looking for are students who are gonna be successful regardless of where they go to school. These schools wanna cherry pick you. They wanna pick the best ones so when they release you out into the wild later, they can be like, I did that, I, I created that. Okay? So first and foremost, when you're thinking of what topic to write your essay on, think, what might these schools like to see? Hmm, maybe somebody who's determined, maybe somebody who never gives up, maybe somebody who has ingenuity oozing from their eye sockets. I don't know, I don't know. But you, t t you guys, you gotta be smart about presenting yourself in a package that these schools want to see. Oh, that's a great transition because now we're gonna talk about the whole package of your application. When you're thinking of what topic to write your essay on, you want to include a side of you that is not shown anywhere else in your application. Now, that doesn't mean go crazy and start talking to your college essay like it's your best girlfriend from high school. No. <laughs> no, colleges do not need to know how many drinks you had last Friday night or how many boys you may or may not have had relations with. Shh. Keep that side of yourself uh, to yourself. When I say show a side of yourself that's not shown in the rest of your application, I mean show that you're compassionate. Show that you have an artsy side. Show that you know how to think or show the ways that you think. Like for example, if you're a track star, been running for four years and been captain for three, colleges already know that you're a leader. Right? You don't need to tell them that. What colleges may not know from reading about your track experience is how you overcame pulling your hamstring that third year of high school, but how you pushed through that anyway. You know, just something that can't be learned from the bare essentials of your academic resume. Oh my god. I've said so many words and we're not even on to the third tip yet, so. Moving on. Now, if you're still struggling with what to write about, I think one of the most like hit them hard formulas you can follow is to write about what you wanna do after college and what in your life made you wanna do that. Funnily enough, this is the prompt that Berkeley gave to me in 2011 when I was applying. So if you wanna see my response to that prompt, you can look at my successful Harvard application essay that I will actually link down below. And that might give you a good idea of how exactly to respond to that and how that shows your personality in the process. Now, one thing I gotta say is if you're trying to figure out what caliber of essay your essay should be, go take a look at other essays that have been written by students who got into the college that you wanna get into. Not to plagiarize, oh my God, do not plagiarize but just to know how high the bar is set for you to jump over. If you think the bar is only this high and you jump this high, when in reality the bar's up here, oh my God. Ah, break some bones trying to get in. It will not be pretty. You will not get the intended result. So figure out what caliber of essay your essay needs to be and then do it. Is it getting verbose in here or is it just me? <laughs> all right, so, so far the tips have all been pretty cut and dry, uh, hopefully insightful. But one other thing I want you to remember is that you gotta think outside of the L7. You gotta think outside the box. 
<laughs> if the essay portion of your application doesn't necessarily say you need to write an essay, consider writing a poem. Or, I once saw this amazing thing. The prompt for the college essay was, what's the most courageous thing you've ever done? And the kid wrote this. Period. <laughs> That's gutsy, right? That's Oh my god, you say so much sometimes by just taking a different approach. One thing I definitely want to challenge you to do, be a little creative with your writing. So one easier, maybe less gutsy way to show that you're creative is to pick an interesting theme or metaphor or story that you use to express that point that you want to make about who you are. For example, if I want to show how good I am at overcoming obstacles, maybe I can talk about that day that I ate 50 pancakes in one sitting. <laughs> or for example, maybe if I'm a really short individual, like under five feet, and I want to express how strong I am, maybe I can make this giant metaphor about being an ant. Hi, I'm Yes Reno, and my spirit animal is an ant. <laughs> Yeah, that sounds good. <laughs> yeah, no, colleges will love that. Yep, nope. Giving them great advice, yes or no. Yeah, no, but just give the colleges something they aren't used to seeing. Last thing I want to do, because I know a huge part of the trouble with college essays is the procrastination behind it. So I want to challenge you guys, after you leave this video, to brainstorm three ideas you could possibly use in a college essay. Uh, you can write them down in the comments below or you can write them on a sheet of paper at home. I do not care, but I just want you to do it, <laughs> okay? I'm yes or no. I'm challenging you in five, four, three, two, one. Go get them, cowboy. Yeah.